If you are a scientist, an engineer, or some type of data analyst, chances are you have had to do some type of curve fitting analysis with data. Hi, I'm Pamela Schultz, and what I'm going to do today is talk about one of the things that can be a little tricky about doing a curve fitting analysis, and that is when we come up with a functional form for an equation, we then want to use that function somewhere else. And often translating a function from one place to another is something that can be tedious and can be error prone. But in data graph, there is a technique, an evaluate option that lets you seamlessly connect the fitting to the evaluation of the fitted data. This is something that I think can really save you time as well as save you from potentially making errors. And this is a technique that is not necessarily new in data graph. We've had this evaluate option in a couple of versions back, we added this. But what is new is the ability to use evaluate with the low S technique of curve fitting. This is a very powerful technique that is really good for data that doesn't fit a traditional type of a, uh, a line fit and is something that we'll do today. So in fact, there's two examples I'll go over. The first one is going to be an example using a polynomial fit, showing you this seamless approach to fitting and evaluating. And then the next example that I'll show you will use a set of data that works really well with low S. And now with low S, you can use this evaluate option. Let's start with our first example where I have a set of calibration data. Here I have temperature in one column and viscosity that I've measured in another column. These are my known values, but then I also have some operating temperatures that are different than the data from my calibration. So I'm going to use a functional relationship to let me compute what is the viscosity at these various operating temperatures. The first thing that I want to do is just plot this data and see what does it look like, the calibration data. Then I can add a fit command and I will choose a polynomial fit type where I can use a slider to dynamically select the number of coefficients I want to get a good fit to my data. Once I have the fit, you'll see that the actual functional equation is something that you could copy and paste to bring somewhere else and use it to do evaluation. But what we're going to show you is that you don't have to do that. Again, in the next section, we'll seamlessly use the result of this fit to compute the viscosity for these samples or these operating temperatures. To use this function now to compute the viscosity for these temperatures, I'm going to use what's called the plot action column. You can add a plot action column from the top of the data side panel. You'll notice that when you add this column, you have a menu that says action. Click that and select evaluate. When you do, then at the bottom of this uh, plot action column, you also then will have a function option where you can select the actual command. So this is coming from the fit command that you want to use to do this computation. The last thing will be to select the X value. And in this case, you can even just drag and drop right from the header onto that menu, and then all your viscosity values will be computed automatically. And if you want to change any of this temperature data, you can do that and the viscosity will be dynamically updated. But one of the things that is also really cool about this is that what if you realize that some of your calibration data was wrong? Maybe you mistyped one of the values for viscosity when you took these measurements and you realize you need to update it. Well, because this is such a seamless technique, I can go ahead and just change that value for viscosity within my calibration data and everything will be updated downstream. Now we'll do the second example where I'm going to use a low S curve fitting approach. The example data that we've uh, put in this file is mimicking a flood event where I have data on the gauge height uh, or the river height from a river gauge at 15 minute increments. And I also have some events that happened at particular time periods, and I want to know what was the river height when those events occurred. Now, to do that with this data, there's a lot of data, and it also has a little bit of noise in it. Uh, so I'm, again, going to use a curve fitting technique in order to get a smoother representation of this data. I can try a polynomial fit, but what you'll find is that even though it captures most of the dynamics, that if the polynomial fit gets high here, we can start to get some oscillations that I don't 
think are actually real. It's just a result of using a polynomial, a high order polynomial fit. So instead, the low S curve fitting really is good for this type of data. We can also adjust the how the low S fit works. This is essentially the window of the local polynomial that's used to do this curve fitting. I'm not going to go into all the detail of what's happening behind the scenes mathematically with low S. I'll put a link in the description of this video that will go to our help documentation on low S if you want to learn more about it. But essentially, I can adjust this parameter to get a nice, smooth fit of my data. In this file, I also have a list of events. These are time points where something happened that I want to know what was the river height at that time period. I'm going to use the plot action column in the same way that I did in the last example. I'll add the plot action column, add the uh, select the evaluate option, select the function I want to evaluate with, and specify the column with the date and the time that is showing me or, or where I'm specifying where I want to know what the river height was using this relationship that I came up with. You can get both of the files that I created today in the Datagraph online examples that come with Datagraph. If you have any questions, on anything you see in those files, I've added some additional annotation to the graphs, then email us, help at or leave a comment down below. Thanks for watching.